you know, with this hybrid technology, it's not all scripted. There's a lot of procedures that's not written down yet. But those deck plate sailors that operate it, that break it and fix it and learn and then document it, memorialize it for the hulls that are coming after us. It gives us a great opportunity to be those people that are gonna that understand the system and will be able to go out there and teach other people. Innovation is very important for us here in engineering because, again, it's a new platform. So our feedback now is very crucial, I think, to the development of future ships. And so that they don't have to go through the same hurdles that we did. The Navy's gonna be making more America-class ships. We're the foundation for future ships coming out. They're only gonna have improvements over what we've done. And we have a lot to prove ourselves, too. So with the America class, you know, things are only going to get better from here. We can definitely tell that the electric motors are definitely the way to go. These millennials that are coming to our fleet, they need to feel relevant through innovation, creativity, and thinking. I take pride in helping other sailors know what I am doing because eventually I have to leave. And there's always going to be a new generation. So passing on that knowledge is definitely important. From the ground up, People like me and people like Potter, we built that engine room. We built the ship. Every day you gotta learn something, every day is something new, so that's what gives you that opportunity to just kinda experience and learn. It's a new concept in the Navy. We're the second ship next to the Macon Island to have this kind of propulsion system. But you gotta allow the greatest minds that we have, like our Blue Jackets, our sailors. You take that leash off and let them go, oh my goodness. It's not only an energy saver and it saves money, it's also good training. This technology is definitely the future. Somebody thought about hybrid electric drive and look at it now, it's paying off. Her first two deployments, she saved $25 million. If there's no gasoline, if there's no diesel, we have options.